All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His name is in the Hebrew, ancient Paleo Hebrew, is Yahweh Shai, and it means He is the Savior, He's the Deliverer. Yahweh means He to be, He exists. All right, in the nation of Israel, you so called Blacks, Latinos, Hispanics, Central Americans, South Americans, all right, uh, North American Indian, and similar Indian descent. And you're going to have Israelites that look like other nations around the world, all right. So, this sit down will be called to know Yiddish and Hebrew. Now, I received a comment three hours ago from this guy. All right, he might be an agent. He might be an Israelite. Somebody, he's an Israelite that just woke up to the truth, but he's not fully woke. Uh, apparently, he hasn't uh, eaten the whole roll like like what is stated in, in Ezekiel. When the Lord had told Ezekiel to eat the whole roll, meaning uh, get uh, understand this whole truth, this 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 the gospel, the doctrine of Great Millstone. All right, you need to eat that whole doctrine. If you're learning from Great Millstone, DTA, Men of Valor, all right, we teach the same like doctrine. All right, and that's the brother lawyer teaches Great Millstone National Camp. By the way, if you don't know that. So you 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 need to eat this whole understanding, all right? Because many Israelites are coming up, uh, they're they're coming up another way, meaning you know, they're they're watching all these different Hebrew Israelite camps, and their brain is being scattered. Their brain their brain is basically being fried, all right. Now, this video, I uh, Slaki, I had put they were not Jewish, they were Jews. All right, this guy named Bruh Bruh commented, said, what? All right. And I said, what do you mean, what? I said, the ish in Jew ish. All right, ish, a suffix used to form adjectives from nouns with the sense of be, uh, belonging to or pertaining to or to join to. All right. And this fool comments, it says, uh, what the fuck are you talking? What the fuck? Sock it. <laughs> what the fuck are you smoking? Do you realize you're trying to justify the existence of an ethnicity by playing language games? For one, Esau Edom has played language games. The so-called white men have played games with the language. All right. They have switched up and switched around different words. All right. They done switched around people's heritage. All right. You had these new English terms. All right. The Jewish are not speaking the real Paleo Hebrew, they're speaking Yiddish. We're gonna get into all that. All right. And you're gonna see why I'm making this video about this fool. And I'm gonna call him a fool because he could have kept his mouth shut. All right. And, and ask questions. All right. He sit up here and assume, like, I don't know what I'm talking about. And yet, when you go to his fool's page, he has not one teaching. Uh, not, not teaching, uh, lesson, Salaki. He has not one lesson. All right. He's been on YouTube for about, what, two years. All right. So anyway, it says, uh, do you realize you're trying to justify the existence of the ethnicity by playing language games with the language that doesn't even belong to that ethnicity? We are Jews. English is not our language. We are Yehudim. All right. The same name we called ourselves for thousands of years, that hasn't changed. And this is what I said. Okay, since I am wrong and you're the great teacher, Baba Kasha, meaning please, all right, in the Paleo Hebrew, tell me what Judah means, all right, because uh, the Jews were referred to as the Southern Kingdom, all right? The Southern Kingdom, which is Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Judah. All right, only had uh, one nickname, which was Jews. They were known as the Jews. The tribe of Judah was known as the Jews. 
but the other nations, the Romans and so forth, would name the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, the Jews, because they were all dark-skinned. All right, they were the southern kingdom. The northern kingdom, which are the so-called Latino, the Latin tribes, the Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, all right, the South Americans and so forth, all right, Central Americans, they were known as Israel, the Israelites, all right? Of course, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, and the North, Northern Kingdom were referred to as Israelites, but I'm saying the certain tribes had different, uh, like uh, like a nickname. You know, the Jews were Judah, all right? The Israelites was known as, uh, or, yeah, they were known as, you know, the Israel was known as Northern Kingdom, all right? I'm rambling. But I'm trying to, you know, drive the point home. You know, it's not that hard. It's not that fucking hard. And excuse my language, but, you know, I'm really kind of pissed off. All right. So let me finish and tell and tell me what Yehuda mean. Also, tell me the name of the Lord. All right. So. Salakia, Salakia. All right. Now. This is the Lashwan Kodash. Lashwan Kodash means holy tongue. The word holy means separate. The language that our forefathers speak, that our, our forefathers spoke and we speak today, is the Lashwan Kodash, which is the Paleo Hebrew. The, the, the Jewish, all right, they write with the Assyrian Hebrew and they put the little points, all right? Straight to the point. Uh, Salakia. Now, let me go back. Now, I just typed in what's the difference between Yiddish and Hebrew. Hebrew is a Semitic or a Shem, it's really Semitic, all right? You have the sons of Noah, you have uh, Ham, Shem, and Japheth, all right? All the tribes of, of the people of the earth today. Either come from one of those sons, either Noah, Ham, Shem, or Japheth. All right, is a Semitic language, a subgroup of the Afro-Asianic languages. Right, languages spoken across the Middle East or Asia Minor, while Yiddish is a German dialect which in which integrates many languages, including German, Hebrew, Aramaic in various Slavic and Romance languages or, or, or Roman or, you know, uh, a Romance language also, also too is like a uh, Spanish, you know, so Salakia. So there you have it. Now, and when he said Ye Yehudam, this is where he gets thrown off. Now, you go to Genesis 29 and started, what, the 30, let's see. It goes into Leah. You, st you, you start off at Genesis 29, 32, talks about Leah. It goes into the sons of Leah, all right? Now, Leah ended up having Judah, all right? Now, it says Genesis 29, 35, and she conceived again and bear a son and she said now i will praise the lord therefore shall she called so like it, therefore she called his name judah and left barren now let's look up some words all right because judah come on why it ain't popping up okay so right here you see Yahweh. Now you see the little points. That's what the Jewish read. You see how they put Ye Yehovah. That's not. That's not his name. You look at the Assyrian. All right. You see the hold on. So like here. You see the Yah character, which is like the comma, right? Yah. Then right here you got Ha. Right? Ha. Wa. So it's Yahweh. This name is Yahweh. 